without further ado, let us jump in. And today's first map is going to be Opaque from Asir's 16. Uh, an easy difficulty lazy, laser and funnel puzzle. This puzzle has been through many variations and iterations over the past few months until I was finally happy with the result. This is a mono portal map featuring a unique setup with an angled panel and two cues. Special thanks to Tio for playtesting, his advice and his feedback. The music uses Android Hell from Portal 1 soundtrack composed by Kelly Bailey. As always, feedback is appreciated. If you think you found any exploits, exploits, any exploits or any solutions, please let me know and I will fix them ASAP. All right. I think we're good. We're ready to go. Let's go. Uh, B overrides DLC 3, so put them in a DLC 4 folder or put them in the VPK. All right, I'll create a DLC 4 um, folder. Um, team spin. Thanks for that. Um, I meant to reach out to you actually as well about um, something I discovered in BMO. I don't know if. Do you know if there's a bug with the um, forgiving laser fields at the moment? Um, I turned it on in the map in my map, um, Team Spen. However, um, it doesn't work. It, they're they're not forgiving. Whichever, uh, whether I turn it off or on, um, in the version I have, it doesn't um, work for some reason. It kills the player every time. I didn't mean to reach out yesterday, and I ran out of time because I was doing other bits and pieces, unfortunately. This looks very familiar. This looks very familiar. This isn't a remake, is it? A remake? I don't know. I have... mm. Don't Uh, no, it's not a horizontal one. It is a vertical one, but um, okay. So we have that. We have that. This takes us to the middle. And then we have the cube here. Now we could take the cube back. I think we're probably going to want to do, although we could also Okay, so we'd want to block it there, okay. What if we was did something like this and headed back to the middle? Did a cube respawn and then went over here. Then we can funnel that across to here, possibly. Now, does the funnel reverse? Doesn't reverse. Okay, so that's the exit criteria. However, the problem is here, once I step up here, is of course going to disappear. So, did it take two cubes? Yeah, it did take two cubes. We haven't found a way yet to respawn that one. So I don't know, I can't see a way at the moment to get back over to here, but can we just simply walk back over there. I believe so. Okay, so... Okay. Momentary back step. Are here. Yeah, that's how we spawn that cube. So 
So we have that cube there now. The interesting part now, though, is how do we get the cube back? How do we get the cube up here? Get over to there, we need to be able to funnel all the way across. Episode. Not tries to jump through portal and fails miserably. There's no way that I can grab that. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Okay, it's a thing I could do. So, we do this to here, and then we go through there, and we can grab the cube and put this over here like this. That enables us to do that. And now we can use the funnel to go back over to this side. I think we're going to want to do a cube swap. So, I don't think the way I got this cube originally was intended. That's the way you should have done it, the way I've just come across here. Because we hadn't needed that cube up to that point. And then with that cube up there... Yeah, so the way I got this standard cube originally was incorrect. And um, I should have done it the way I've done it just there. is fine. Now we could probably take this to the middle. And then this cube's going to want to go up here, I believe. Where is it? Uh, yes, so laser out there. We're going to have the laser coming out of there with the laser cube there. And then we're going to angle the laser cube over to there. And then from there, I assume we can see that portal and that panel there, and we can switch it to there to finish the map. Okay. I think we're about there. One cube. Take this one over to here. Jump in here with the cube and uh, go across. Like so. And that will also prevent the Respawn of the weighted cube. Just like that. Cool map. Very cool indeed. Very, very cool. Good job, Sears. A little bit easier than the one that preceded it. Alright. Next up, we have got Rings of Fire by Jeffer, I think that is. Jaffer? Let's uh, have a look to see what this one is about. Possibly one of my best multo, multo? mono portal tests to date. Also, one of the first times I've had someone else play test my map. Thank you, Sheepdog, version 3.2. Okay. Big yikes, Sheepdog's involved.
I'm checking everybody. Is the uh, mic level okay? I'm always a bit worried now that I'm move about and stand up and do different bits and pieces. I'm always a bit worried that um, make sure everything sounds okay. Okay, so we have this. All good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. There's our exit criteria right there. Didn't even uh, take any notice of the light bridge right there, but that, uh, those that might help us just a wee bit. So that switches the mono portal. Gives us the exit. Okay, we're going to come over here. Okay, so cube here. Um, so that needs to be open. We need to shoot the laser onto there, and that also needs to point to there, which will give us another cube. Okay, so maybe putting the light bridge on there at the moment wasn't such a great idea. So let us take this one back. Uh, the problem is there, we can't... Okay. Yeah, it is a little bit uh, on the narrow side, isn't it? Over here, yeah, I can't see that there, but what I can do is could get a portal into there if that helps me at all. Respawn this cube. Head back over to here. So then we would want to do hmm, I know that really helps me. I would now need to get across to here and stand on the other button there. But I would also need a port on there and a way to shoot into there. So yeah, that doesn't help me. me at all. So is there a way that I could... Uh, no. We'd need the cube. Surely I need a configuration here. All right, let's hold on. Let's think about this another way. A moment. Let's to let's back over here. This. So. And go 
back over here. Back over here. Um, light bridge. Go to this side. Instead, so I still need that to be available. Can I see that from here? I can potentially. move, but I don't think it really helps, does it? I ah, see that's got to... Yes, it's that that opens the fizzle, so I have to... Have to have this on here. this one here. Didn't think to check the other side. Okay, so now we have this. What can we do now? Do we need... I don't think we need to use this side again, do we? I'm not convinced. So... Suppose the next thing we should probably look to do is try to get a cube into this other side, right? What we probably shouldn't have done is respawn this cube from here. Instead, we can jump over to here. Then respawn this cube. This one now sits in here. So then all that's left to do is to get into here from over there. Which is, again, taking this over here. But 
see a potential problem here. I can do this. But I can't walk through to there. So that's what I need to do. I need to be able to do that and then lift off. No, I don't want to lift it off, do I? I mean, the only... Uh, can I see this from here? See that from there. No, I was wondering if I could put the well, the thing about like putting the cube here. Portal aspect of this is um, very intriguing. Got to be to do then with the placements of placements of the mono portal. Laser has got to intersect. case of like doing How could I be so so far off? I think I probably bumped it against the side of the um I guess I bumped it against against the side. Oh see it. See it. See it. See it. Well, I mean, I can do it like this, but basically, I didn't see there was a little ledge here. So no matter what the configuration, whether I've got the monopot on either platform, I can now do this. So let's do it and what I would consider correctly. Up to there, up to there. Go back across to here, back across to there. Um... I would still need to be over there, though. Walk across to here. No, I still need to... Maybe I... Get that right. So here's the problem. I, I do this and I do this. Um, I think maybe I've hastily put the red cube in there.
maybe that's where I'm going wrong. then I would still need to now go and get this cube back so this seems a bit maybe a bit counterproductive because then it just puts me back to where I was before the the, the move I didn't want to do which was putting this at the side of the cube but maybe that is the way Maybe that is the way, because there's no... Okay, there's that. Which gets me over to here like this. However... That doesn't particularly help for the fact that now I don't have a cube over here. I have no access to the light bridge to bring the cube over. That's too far away from there, even if I could cause a respawn of that cube. Got any thoughts on this? I just don't know about that one move. I, I don't know. I mean, let's like have a like quick poll. The, what do you what do you think about this move? If that move is considered okay, then we're done. So I need to set time. Well, twenty minutes. I just think because the laser catcher is pushed back, you'd say it's acceptable. Okay. I just didn't know because, like, because the catcher's pushed back and it's like in line with this button, I'd assume you would need to do. Libby said that they found two different endings. Okay, yeah. All right, well, Nerdlin played this, and Nerdlin said um, about aligning it off the button. So I guess other people are using that, and that um, could be the solution. All right, well. Let's 
Just gotta remember now how I uh, got the cube over there. There was another comment there that I picked up on as well that somebody said that it would have been nice if the um, it would have been nice if the flip panel was reused as well. So. Other than that, though, it's a pretty, pretty nice, compact, small mono portal puzzle. Just a bit of debatability on this final move, fortunately. But I mean, like I say, it's. I suppose I, I could see my 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 point was the fact that it's recessed there, but I wouldn't call that. I suppose you wouldn't call that a tight laser angle, and. As Team Spen rightly pointed out, I suppose, um, it could have been recessed further. I suppose it's pushed back just to prevent angles from another location. Alright, we'll take that. I will take that. a win and uh, I suppose uh, we'll see we'll see what gets said um, I'll give it a thumbs up I mean it was it was a it was an okay map it was an okay map don't know why I said it like that but yeah it was an okay map alrighty then so um, my coffee cup is unfortunately empty so I'm going to go and refill that and um, when we come back on the other side we'll be playing a map from Mystical Ace so stay tuned guys we'll be right back all right, we are back. So uh, next up, we have got Reciprocal by Mystical Ace. Uh, cave here, chariots. Greg and I were running the numbers. Well, Greg was. I was supervising with a coffee. And well, the chances that you could have been sent to a universe where the laws of physics don't apply is... Yeah, 100%. Maybe even 200%. Who knows? Maybe math doesn't work there either. So, if you're wondering why you, you can now magically accelerate backwards at Mach 10 with a cardboard box and some elbow grease, now you know. Just don't go slamming into any walls at that speed. We're not paying for the cleanup over there. Keep testing. Important laser collision has been disabled due to it being annoying. Hey, look, it's time. F it didn't take me... Hey, look, it didn't take me four years to release the next map. Oh, how wonderful this is. Anyways, welcome to Reciprocal. This is a hammerized version of map of Reciprocal by Gigopla and Mache. The difficulty of the wonderful puzzle is medium to hard, so get those thinking caps on, as this puzzle looks easy, but it isn't that easy. But I can assure you that it's completely logical and nothing crazy needs to be done. Also keep an eye peeled for there may be some something hidden somewhere. And so by Ace, the puzzle is by Gig and Mache, tested by Mike and Stefan H, as back panels by Alison Ghost, and the cave quote was written by Mache. So, um, did I play the original? Yes, I did, and I favorited it. And I vaguely remember it. I don't remember anything about the solution, but I do remember it being quite a difficult puzzle. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber also. is looking pretty good. That's right. Drink it in. You could eat off those wall panels. With my added sound effects there, I actually rustled a load of uh, receipts and stuff um, off my desk, which uh, wasn't particularly great. All right, so... Um, look for hidden stuff as we go but yeah I do remember vaguely this one yeah all one back panels give an interesting light to this don't they they sure do okay so yep we have the cube here the laser there yada 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 we have stuff moving We have cube. 
you know, a couple of portal shots, like a couple of the early portal shots here, like just seem really delayed. It's really weird. I don't know why. Checking all these uh, areas here, see if we can uncover any secret source. Alrighty then, so now from here we could do... What could we do? I think... Do this and this to get the laser across here. And could do this. Get the laser over here. Like so. then that proves problematic because we don't then have a way to get that back there, do we? So we would need to persist the laser I believe Actually, uh, I did that wrong. We could instead just do this and this. I didn't hit the portal surface. And then we could do that to there. And then that to there. Okay. form of progress made. Now, we would probably want to do that to there. Walk back over to here. That to there. Now, do we need to open that up, or can we just... If we need to open it up, or if we can just... Do it from this side. I just want to check for sanity purposes. Um, let's put it there a minute. If I was to do, let's pretend we're knock. I need to get that as jingled form. That's too far. It's too far. Okay. However, just want to go and quickly have a look in like the perfect place to hide something. So yeah, it would look that look like the perfect place to add something. I was correct. And blue screen of death, of course. Excellent.
Okay, so um, I'm going to reload the map. I can't remember where I just saved. I don't know if I did save. I may have just reloaded the previous map. Uh, no, we're good. Okay, so here we are. We are here. So then we can go back over this side. And portal on there. And then we could do portal there. Now what I'm unsure of here I've lost the music as well by reloading. Um, we need to get the cube over to the other side, obviously. That is our exit criteria. But we need to be able to walk the cube over there. And that's not aligned. Did I not point that there? Bit of a... Oh, I did, but I went through the port, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. We're back to here. This That doesn't really change where we were. Exactly the same position. Okay. Can I? Go walk through here. Did I proper cheese out last time? Guess I did. Ah. Huh. Okay. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way.
rage quit. <laughs> I think I've just gone like a really long and convoluted way back to exactly what I had before. In fact, I guarantee that's exactly what I've done. I'm just um I'm just trying to remember how I got to this point here. Okay, so I could have opened that up with this cube here, shot my portal onto there, taken the cube through, come back through the portal and shot that to there, and then Walk back through, laser there, walk back over here. Yeah? I just think sometimes sometimes for me when um, I'm trying to like vocalize my thoughts, it does help sometimes when I take it back to basics and it's alright saying oh I'll do this, this and this, but you guys don't know what I refer to when I say the word this, so Okay, this is what I had before. Yeah, then we did that. We walked across to here. Okay. Excellent. I was just trying to think. Is there a way that I could... The, 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 biggest, the biggest hurdle here is... Um, getting the... Getting the cube to this side. That's the hurdle. So this here. I almost think I need to. I, I don't know. I, it's kind of like I need to do a respawn. I'm not sure that I need to do a respawn, but it's kind of like I need to. I do feel, though, what I shouldn't have done there. Yeah, let's just backpedal a little bit. This, this to here. And then I should keep the light bridge, but go with this portal there instead. And then I can go to here. Which is exactly the same set we had before, just with a couple of things reversed. Okay. So I could do what? The cube, isn't it? moving this cube or causing this cube to respawn I don't think it's going to be a respawn I think it's going to be a move Come on, Nock, you've solved this once. Do it again. Do it again.
Could I have... Could I have instead... I should probably use this platform. I was wondering if I could have used the... Um, I mean... I could do that. That's a thing I could do. And I'm not... Um, I didn't like jump or... I didn't try to like grab it or any sort of like do anything special or anything breaky. I just literally pressed grab. I wonder if that's what... Yeah, okay. So that's... I think that's probably what I need to do. Grab it off here. Instead of where we were. That would make sense because then I could use the light bridge to do things and stuff. Okay. Four across here. Change the portal here. Yes. And then down to here. Okay, so we have that, we have that, we have that. Now, my next issue will be... Okay, let's just... Don't think that would be intended, would it? The panel is close, but it's not close enough really to the fizzler to be able to... to make me want to jump over there. I don't think that's right. So, I'm not going to pursue that avenue. Uh, also. And save. Yikes. Okay, so like my concern here is what do I do from here for the simple fact that the I've got to walk through a fizzler now. There's no, there's no getting around that. Also, 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 also. Excuse me. Well, probably best not just to 
and here and hypothesize. Let's um I don't think the laser would go over there, would it? I'm brutally honest. That's something I could do though. Big brain. Okay. Now I'm gonna want to do this. This is gonna be a more useful move. In a minute. Doing anything else? Okay, so then we would do. What would we do? We would do that. Actually, no, we would do this, this. Walk through here. Shoot to there. All there. Here. But I just messed something up. Now I don't have a laser. I mean, that's exit criteria. All well and good. That's the exit criteria. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe I just need to keep the light bridge. Almost do what I did, keep the light bridge, but adjust the queue while I've got the light bridge. Um, I didn't save for a while either, did I? Woe is me. It's through here. Over here. Right, let's think about the, the, the moves I just performed right there. So for the exit, I need the laser. But the laser is going to come out of this portal instead. So I need to this configuration but with the portal on the other side I'm sure I'm just overthinking things
again. I've failed to create a new save spot, so I'm going to have to repeat a load of steps. So now, I think I'm done. As long as I keep this light bridge, I will cross here and across here and fire up to there. Well done. Yay! You know, when I woke up and saw the state of the labs, I started to wonder if there was any point to going on. I came that close to just giving up and letting you go. But now, looking around, seeing Aperture very good puzzle indeed. Um, glory, you don't have to worry just like lots of little intricacies, and I quite I like the fact that your a, a lot of the puzzle is to do with swapping a portal from one side of the fizzler to the other side of the fizzler. Just like little tiny incremental moves. Um, I really enjoyed. So, yeah. I don't know if I was faster the first or second time around, but uh, cool puzzle. Good job, Hammer, on the hammer work, uh, Mr. Clays, as well. It's um, a favorite. Uh, that was a really cool one indeed. All right, next we've got Quidditch by Nerdling Nation. Take a look. Uh, two out of ten. A puzzle I put together today it was experimenting with the concept and stumbled into this nice sequence. I think if you solve this one, you'll really enjoy it. Hopefully, the solution is not too obscure at critical points. After you've done I hope it's obvious why one is named the way it is. Sorry, why this one is named the way it is. Okay, so does that mean we're going to be... Something's going to be flying through the air, like an object, or are we going to be flying through the air? Hmm. Just remember, you're playing Quidditch. Uh, enjoy, drop a comment if you have any issues, and there's a playthrough by Libby and Sheepdog. Okay, well, we're restricted to where we can go for a start. So it's a single cube bundled onto there for the exit. Drop it up there. Is that meant to be a scoreboard, maybe? The golden CC snitch. Alright, well, we're done. Easy map. Easy map. Okay, let's... Um, last time... One of the last times I was down... Um, I was down at the office, so I saw my boss's house when I go to the office, and um, he's just renovated and had like a, an extension downstairs, and he's always been big on his, um, his like projector and his surround sound, but he's like renowned for going to, to sleep like really early and falling asleep. Normally we'll get back to his, he'll say do you want a beer, we'll have a beer, and within five minutes he's like fast asleep. Um, and he put one of the uh, he he put Harry Potter on, and obviously something there about Harry Potter, which um, keeps him awake, because um, he was awake for absolutely ages. Till like one o'clock in the morning, and uh, I have to say his uh, new surround sound system was. Um, I know this is sort of like. Uh, digressing a little bit. His new surround sound system is just freaking amazing. Alright, so maybe we need to funnel ourselves out of here. It was just like being at the cinema. It was uh, pretty good. Anyway, I'm yeah, rambling. Let's stop that. Uh, Alright, so let's head over here. Okay. Okay. I could potentially now drop into here. 
would I want to? Why would I want to? I mean, I could see a potential... I could see a potential exploit. I don't know if it's an exploit, I could see a potential move here. I guess that's why it's called Quidditch. Flying through the air with the cube. All right. I don't think it's an exploit. I think that's the intended because, um, but yeah. Um, how do I feel about flying through the air with a cube and letting go of cube. I mean, it's not like you have to throw the cube, but um, I guess it's, it's just more about like letting go of it at the right time, which is, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. All right, next up, we have got one from Fumbly. And this one is called Damaged Goods. Easy difficulty. We apologize for the damaged goods. We'll send you another package immediately. Another portal utilizing the PPPP and my first auto respawning cube puzzle. Please note that the laser has been used solely for the exit condition as a result of the other cube types colliding poorly with the track platform. So the laser is just for the exit condition. Uh, any exports such comments, your feedback is appreciated. It's the PPPP from the oh the portable protruding panel okay let's take a look I'm guessing we have to go around here. We go high or low. Um, let's take a look over to this one first. Let's see what we can see. The laser is literally just pointing in there, I think. Sorry, guys. Wife emergency. Uh, anyway, let's... Um That's going to fizzle that though, isn't it? Yes, but doing that will push it back, of course. Of course. It makes sense. Okay, so we do that, we do that. Now, I want to say we would do this. Which I believe is right. However, I believe we're missing a step. And I believe that step will be we need to protrude the panel first. Or else we don't have a way back into this other area, do we? Where's the cube response? The cube response here. 
and oh, it doesn't matter actually as long as I can get no as long as I get into there I can walk around here can't I yes I think that's the case. I thought that was the case. thinking uh, no because I need to we need to keep that there but I need to get back up to here going to drop there. It's pushed along here. And I need to get it over to there. So hold on. What if I... Okay. Okay, I think I got it. What if I do this? Respawn the cube. Take this through here. That's obviously closed off now. Yeah, there we go. That's how we get around it. That's it. I will deliver. I, I will deliver. I will deliver these damaged goods. Come hello, high water. And then we walk back around the Fizzler. Fantastic. Pleasure as always, Fumbly. Pleasure as always. Awesome. Awesome. Alrighty then. Next up. One from Andy. X marks the spot. It's been a while since we've seen one from Andy. Assuming, of course, the Andy here is the same Andy from um, days gone by. This one uh, could be a yikes. It looks like it's a hammered map. One day I was experimenting with different textures. I want to see how they looked inside one inside of a chamber. I eventually found this black texture that doesn't hold paint. And that sparkled, and that sparked, sorry, an idea. Eventually, after several variations, it morphed into the chamber that you are about to play. Special note, when obtaining the cube, don't get too frustrated with the catapult. It tends to be a bit random, and I found that if at first you don't succeed, the second time tends to be the charm. There is a companion cube hidden in the map, but you need to hit the trigger. You need to hit the trigger. You need to trigger it. I think that's what I meant to say, in order to see it. It's very unlikely that anyone will find it without cheating, but give it a go and happy hunting. Please rate and comment, but most importantly, enjoy. Alrighty then. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's the catapult. Um, interesting. Oh, 
Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, so we need a way to. I don't actually have the top, so that can go through there. We need a way to. I don't know if that's intended. But given that there's no way here to turn that off, I don't see another way to do it. I mean, we could have maybe got the cube over to here and potentially grabbed it through there. Oh, well, there's a... I was just about to say, what's with that? Um... I mean, if that's how we get that out of there, I don't know how I feel about that. Sorry. Um, okay, so we have a way into here. And... Not entirely sure. Where, okay, so we're going to there. We need some paint on here. And in the funnel. So that might be a good place to start. And then we can actually use the funnel to maneuver around a little bit. So there'll be... Uh, sure. I'm sure there'll be other places that we need to get um, this gel. That's why I don't normally have to put up with, like when I'm streaming, at late at night. The distractions. Okay, so. Let's do this and this. We'll do this and this. the whole gimmick of the map, isn't it? This texture we cannot use. Alright, so. Maybe it would have been Interesting looking uh, across a chair. I was like, why is that in the observation room? Maybe it would have been wiser. It's bounce gel.
Um, I'm hoping to go to about 3.30 my time, so for another... About another four hours, Leo, hopefully. See how things go. Okay, so this is paintable. Suppose this offers me a way back to the other side. Okay. I'm not sure I like this texture though, like the fact that you can't really um the fact that you can't really tell where you can do stuff. Uh you can paint stuff. I don't really particularly like, but we'll roll with it. Okay, so here's, I'm assuming I can drop this over here at least. Okay, we can indeed. So. Okay. I could potentially get bounce gel here now. Potentially. Maybe not, actually. Huh. I assume it's these really dark textures here where we've got these bits here that we can't use the gel on. I could put gel here, though, and then we could move the... Okay. The thing I could do. So I could put gel where that, um, where the, I could put gel where the blue gel currently has slanded. I think I've taken too much time there, haven't I? <laughs> All right, new plan. the wrong that was the wrong way knock let's try that again didn't help because I shot the wrong portal and I didn't know where I was coming out the portal from so they're my excuses Okay, so I've got that covered off. Now I can do I suppose I could just do this to be fair. I could do it from here potentially. Go into the portal here. If I put a off it's all underneath this gel. Okay, will this gel go into the funnel? The answer is yes problem is I just lost the gel at the top of the funnel
Okay. But, in theory, that works. So, we can do that. We have loads of time to set up this. Okay. Now, where is the highest point? This room looks to be the highest. So if we go over here, we're going to want some white gel over here as well. Okay. Hopefully it all came out. And what we can do now is we can go through there ourselves. And hopefully... Hmm, too much height. Maybe I should have just dropped to here, though, and then flung out here. Nope, that's still too much. All right, well. Oh, what's going to happen? Hmm. But yeah, my assumption was I could fling myself out of there. too much momentum. I don't even know though if I... Always going to be too much. Okay, so, 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 what's the crack? Also, am I missing anything else? I'm assuming if this is not paintable, then these aren't paintable, right? I guess that is what we do then. 
I guess we're done. Oh, yeah. What about that? These aren't in line either, is it? These are not in line. Oh, the funnel's off, isn't it? Alright, maybe if then I got some more... Um, maybe if I got some more... Y'all here, maybe I could make it work. Maybe. If this is too much jello now, that's the problem. So in order for this to work... There's a little tiny area here at the top. I feel like though this is too much. We've already been there, we've already tried that. So, what if I was to instead... Then, do I need some gel? Could be it. Okay. That could be it. So we could potentially we would need to cover this area right on the edge. We can use that panel perhaps to restrict our upwards momentum.
And of course. Well, let's let's test it first, though, I guess. Because not only do we need like bounce gel here, we also need to make sure we have still got a portable surface to bounce into. Still not high enough, though. I mean, I could do more manipulation with the gel. a whole lot easier. I mean, this is where you start to get, like, silly, silly category. Where you can really, like, abuse the gel. That would almost want to be... I have this like here. And the dropper. Now we can start doing like a whole host of silly things here now. Once you pull the trigger. As well as doing that, you could then do it the other direction. So we could do like... Well... I say we could do... Oh, that would need to be the other way around. I can't see! Then we have that. Uh, 
And we can do things like this. I'm pretty sure by this point though I've like I'm pretty sure I've broken it. In some way, shape or form. Anyway, the whole the whole point of like doing this and going down this road in this avenue was solely for the purpose of we could now potentially do says oh, we need to get the mouse gel here though. Okay. Um, Oh, actually, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, no, it wouldn't be a problem because we could now do this, this, get up to here. And then th that would basically now allow us to, we've got like a whole load of variable height here that we could potentially do things and stuff with. He says. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm looking at anyway. And that was the point of this whole exercise to get the gel over to there that I could then do something like that that's still not right. Still too much height. Unless. I mean, if anybody's got any better ideas than, or any other ideas, please do vocalise them in the chat. I genuinely, at this point, am not really sure what I'm meant to be doing. It's got to involve some sort of fling with bounce gel. get over to that side. There's no other way that we can get over to there because of There's no other way we can get over here other than bounce gel. So it comes down to a fact of using momentum. You need three blocks of momentum. Obviously, the platform there, three blocks there is too much to stand above it, and we tried below it, and for some reason it was too little. So, I don't know. Standing on there. Is there anywhere else you can get three blocks from of momentum from? The only other way you could... I wonder if the only other way you could do it... Although, you see, three blocks at ceiling, hitting your head at the top of three blocks and standing on the... the so hitting your head on the bottom of the three blocks and standing on top of the three blocks are two different heights. And I'm pretty sure Portal um, behaves differently depending on where you are stood. in relation to that. But three blocks 
is the perfect height, it seems. But then I can't do it that time. So... Today. I genuinely don't know. As for the companion cube, I have a hunch. Or I had a hunch. Standing on one of these panels somewhere would possibly reveal it. Cube, I guess, is the question. Oh, companion cube, oh, companion cube, I don't know where you are now. can't see one anywhere. So, as for where it is, I don't know. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. So, yeah, um, really know. Don't really know how to, how I feel about that one. All right, next up we have got Ratatoska, I think possibly how you pronounce that, by Mevius. Yeah, I just thought though by no clipping from me, we'd be able to see it like no clipping around, but um, yeah, maybe not. All right, so uh, thanks Bullfrog, Atom and Narcodes for playtesting is all we've got on this one. Um, so let's jump Half of our test right subjects in. have only recently awoken from extended relaxation and were unaware that we're testing in space. So, there it is. No conspiracy, no twist. We're in a test satellite orbiting the Earth. Commonly available information that absolutely anyone would have told you if you'd bothered... Hey, hey Mevius, what's Please going on? stop forming groups of adventuring parties to uncover right, the hours. secret because it's that we're in space. Hope you well, Mevius. Okay, so um, that's blocking potentially maybe a cube on there at some point and we can disable possibly the light bridge. We've got a faith plate which flings us over the laser. We have a cube up there, a cube there which has already dropped. Blue gel, I'm guessing that's going to be a bomb. Which doesn't intersect the laser. Okay, thought it might intersect the laser to explode, but it does not. We have a way to respawn the reflective cube. Uh, over this side. We have a lot here. I can jump through down to here though. Can start doing some stuff with the laser. It gives us a tractor beam. And if I'm right, we should now be able to get. We may be able to get, sorry, this second cube here. We've got these panels here are for us to stop. Allow you up to here, but to stop anything else. So I get the second cube here. Can we use that for anything else? We can. We 
use the tractor beam. Okay, so we can use the tractor beam. Sorry, I'm nice and done two secs. Okay, we can use the tractor beam to push ourselves over to here. Okay, there is a pulse sensor. Excellent. So, um, from here, we're going to want to cause. God damn it. Okay, we're going to want to cause the. Um, we're going to want to do something with the companion cube. Uh, reflective cube here. The reason being. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's a problem, but if we try and get gel on that panel there, it's going to end up in the funnel. is not what we want. So, let's have another look. Can we do anything in the way of... by the way of respawning... laser cube. Can we get up to there, I wonder? There also, if we want some gel on that panel there, which we can probably do where we are right now. Do that, that, and that. Very good. So we have gel in that location. Not sure that that helps us though. So we'd really want gel over here if we could manage it. Which I think we can. And we could at least bounce up to there. So, if we go through here. Okay. do from here. Do you know what? I've, I've kind of analysed all this so far. One thing I haven't really taken much notice of though, which is really bad of me, is the actual um, end mechanic here. How do we exit? We exit. So we're going to want some gel here. Let's just let's concentrate the minute and get some, getting gel in places, right? Because Gel here will definitely help us. Helps us get up to this section over here, won't it? But yeah, I just kind of feel like I dived straight into this puzzle here and didn't really take much consideration as to what I needed to do. From up here, this is where we can manipulate the funnel. So, what we need to work out how to do is... Also, we need gel there. That's our end goal. Gel over here. So I think the way we're going to achieve... How are we going to achieve that? 
achieve it. Um, we're going to need to be over get over here without the use of portals, aren't we? So we can place a portal over here. And then on there, with this cube sat here pointing over there, that's the only re region I can assume we've got that area there. Weighted cube, what's the weighted cube for though? That's still a bit of a mystery. Okay. Slowly starting to piece things together. Yeah, having gel here is the next big step because then we can jump up to here. Okay, let me um, save. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, I see. I think I see what the... What do I... Where is that? Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, maybe, yes. Okay, okay. I see what it's for. I see what it's for. So, let's go over... Go over here first. Don't need to take this really over here, but I'll take it with me. Just for ease of use. Now we have gel here. I can put this here. And now that I have this here. Land on the edge. I should avoid the death. I can potentially put this. Over here. Now what does this do? This stops the funnel. That stops the funnel. So. How can that be used? How is that useful? says I don't know I don't know oh I do totally know yeah okay now we go over to here Bounce up to here. And hit this button here. Okay. We have that, and we have that.
that and we have that. We have access now to there without using portals. So I could now bring that cube over to this side. And to do that we would do this. And this. Actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? Uh, I guess do. There's no... Sorry. I thought there was a portal surface there that there wasn't. Okay, we'll take this up to here. Okay. I think I know the answer to this question. But I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. So, the final problem we need to work out here is with the portal on there, how do we activate the gel? So I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's too much of a jump. That's what I thought. Oh, but hang... Oh, no. I thought that was really clever then. I thought the... Um, I thought this laser was going to intersect the... the gel. Even coming from like this direction, it's too much of a it's too much of a race against time. Mevius is a very good map creator indeed. Um Rontalo, what's going on, buddy? Welcome along, hope you're well. Good to see you. Does one? No, like pulses down here, is there? No. So how does one? Oh, oh. Maybe. Just maybe. No, because it doesn't answer the question. All right, it doesn't answer the question of um, doesn't resolve the question of 
how we delay that. I thought I could do that and do that and then jump back and set the portals up, which I can. That's, that's perfectly fine. I just can't then get back. No, the library can't be turned off. There's no connections to it. I thought that was it. Like jumping back over here would have solved my problems, but of course we still we can put the portals in the right places. But we still don't have access to that button, and then it would still be a race against time to do what we need to do and get to where we need to go. I was just looking for also for like intersecting portal surfaces. It's, we can't even. We can't even. Like refunnel. lack of like floor poles prevents me from doing any kind of um, juggling acts. You know, I was thinking about the normal box. I mean, we've only used it for one thing, which was to block the laser. I don't know what the laser connection turns off the funnel which in turn allows us to to get gel on that extra panel which almost almost allows us to do a loop around the map this portal surface is interesting we've not used this one yet I don't know that we need to use it. I don't know why I would... I, I can't see a way that I would want to use it. Or, uh, that wasn't very good English. I can't see a reason or a justification as to why I would want to use that, though. Doesn't mean it's not the case. But... See, the extended grating here and the grating there stops us from doing anything with the gel to jump up to there. But again, that wouldn't be helpful. Um, no, just thought I'd had a thought there, an idea, but it was nothing. Uh, it wasn't a use it wasn't useless um it's how we originally got the obtained the um weighted cube so the weighted cube drop us up there whilst i think the light bridge is useless to prevent us from doing some weird and wonderful things 
the, the portal surfaces themselves were used. Paint won't pass through the, the the portal there. We already tried that. Not that I don't I, I don't see how that would help though. Alright, what about okay, so let's let's sort of explore the theory and the idea that maybe we need to use this box again. So that turns that off. Mega spam. Okay, this is... No, nah, it wouldn't work. I, okay, I, I had a thought there. What if the weighted cube was used to intersect the laser via the funnel? To create almost like a pulse in the... Um, in the funnel. Okay, may be onto something. We may be onto something. Let me try and elaborate a little bit more on that idea. So this laser intersects this here. Okay. Let's just double check. Was miles off. Right, let's try that again. That is really clever. That is really, really clever. So now what we do here, we do this. We do this. There we go. That was really cool. Makes sense to reuse the weighted cube. We'd only used it for one thing. So... Yeah. Very cool puzzle indeed, Mevius. Very, very cool puzzle indeed. Let me add that to my favorites. Um, yeah, really enjoyed uh, that one indeed. All right, well, we have gone full circle and we are now back to a fumbly bumbly puzzle. However, I'm going to take a quick 10 or 15 minute break just to grab a sandwich and something to eat. So um, I will um, put some, <coughs> excuse me, I'll put some music on and we will be right back momentarily oh eddie what's going on i'm just going to break real quickly to grab some lunch 
and then um, we'll be back with uh, this map from Fumbly. Uh, the stream will still be live, don't worry. I'm only going to be about 10, 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, give us a little bit of time, guys, and I will be right back. Bed, watered, and ready to get back into some more community chambers action. And we are coming back hot. Hot, I tell you, with another fumbly bumbly map. This is this is immured. Immured. That's a funny word. What does, what does immured mean? I don't think I've ever really uh, come across that before. Uh, East difficulty fled to paler pastures. Please write any exploits and such in the comments. Your feedback is appreciated. Uh, uh, oh, is this my life? Is this my life? No, it's monoportal. Of course, it isn't my life. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway, let's um, crack on, shall we? Um, I guess not having much of a description there, probably it kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I didn't even notice or realise I'd only got the one portal. Um, okay, so we've got uh, two cubes for the exit. We have a laser. Ah, well that makes sense on the entrance then, doesn't it? Makes perfect sense. Okay, so that's an endless loop. Head down here then. Uh huh. Okay. And yep. Sorry. I real I appreciate. I don't. Re I appreciate. I realise at the moment I just seem to be making lots of noises, and not being very descriptive on my um, what I'm doing and what I'm looking at. So I apologise for that. Could I use it in a sentence? Yeah. Uh, could you use it in a sentence? Humbly. Knock entered the room and was. Immured by his surroundings. I don't know, English isn't my forte. I guess it works. Oh, not my coffee over. <laughs> your organs are currently immured in your body. That works too. <laughs> Alright, we have a cube. Uh, and so, I think we're probably going to want to leave that there for the time being. We're going to do this manoeuvre again. So we can't take the cube through there with us. So, gives me a funnel. I want to use the funnel. I'm going to need to go back. Or maybe not. Ah, maybe I've overlooked something there. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I could do instead is I could do this. This. Okay. Um, I don't know about this actually. This seems a bit profoundly will tell me. 
Um, okay, but what I'm thinking is we do this, we go up to here, and then come around to here, and we shoot that to there. Are we happy so far? I think that's not really breaking it. There's ample portal surfaces. So, I'm happy with that at the minute. So then we go through here, into the funnel. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so that would allow me to use my right, so from here. I need to do There's no surface here, is there? Oh, okay, I realized my mistake. Oh Eddie, I've missed the hints. I've missed the Eddie Riofa hint system. Uh, right, it's down here, isn't it? Okay, we got this. Well, we got this. So, the mistake that was made revolved around. <coughs> excuse me. Not letting the cube go all the way through. That was our mistake. I played Yogo Puzzle. No, I have not, Eddie. Okay, so we spawn this other cube. Now we're going to have to repeat that segment, aren't we? So that we can then do what we did previously, which was getting the cube in the position over here. So, <sighs> oh, I thought I messed that up, but no. Can't activate the funnel until um, I stand on the button. So, it's all good. We're all good. And I'll do that just because I'm lazy. Okay, now we'll go over to here. Missed where I was aiming for, but we still got the same effect. Okay, so then this cube. This. Oh, wait a second. That's not what we do. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think.
I did put them there. So, do we need here? Do we need? Yo, Libby, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I don't know that I need that panel. But what do I need the panel for? I assume to use the funnel somewhere else. Which would make sense. But the only thing we really need to do here is get the companion cube out, isn't it? So the only way to get the companion cube out here is, is through here. That's, that's a given. So, I think we need to do a... I think we've gone a little bit early with this move here. So what we'll do is we'll swap the cubes back around. And that's my mistake if it's an auto respawn. Okay. My mistake. Let's pretend it does auto respawn. Okay, so we do that. Now we're going to want to do this to drop into here. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, we should have we should have gone through the laser to respawn the cube. We'll position that there. And then Cube respawn, and I think we're maybe done. Cool little bit of logic there, La Fumbly. Way more cool than my attempt there to shoot a portal and fling through the other side. And of course, in honour of our good friend LB, let's align that cube correctly on the button. Excellent stuff, probably. Really enjoyed that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for making. Let's see if the next one's just as good. This is Sendifipede. This sounds like it's a uh, Sendificator maps potentially. Maps? Map. Sendificator map. Even. Uh, medium difficulty. Creeping, crawling on the floorboards. A frightful sight indeed. Creeping, crawling slowly forwards like a centipede. On a poor puzzle, using Conclan's slim modif modification of the Sendificator by HMW. Report any exploits and such in the comments. Your feedback is, as always, appreciated. 
Thank you for helping us, help us all. Is not the quote something like that? I don't know. Best not. I might be. Uh, I might become a lemon. Maybe wants to be a lemon. Okay. Keep that. Take this back down to the bottom. I'm not sure how we take it back down to the bottom. So, we have another cube there. If we hit the certificate button, goes into there. I'm almost tempted to certificate this as well. Sorry, I'll be. And then. I might be making a bit of a meal of this one. But. If I then. <laughs> certificate this one again. That lands on the button. Now, whilst it lands on the button, um, that's interesting. It lets me go down to here, doesn't it? Okay, well. I assume it's a good thing that I have not been called out uh, as a cheater as of yet. Okay, um, did have a funny thought about something there, but I don't think it's possible anymore. So I will reserve the right to make that comment. I know this is not intended, I'm just having a look up here. It's recessed down slightly. Oh, wait a second. Did I save? Does anyone know if I saved? I think I've got to start again. Alright. Just to save a little bit of time. Go back to this. Okay. Save here. So I want to get this cube back first. And I want to place the portal, get the other cube back. I didn't actually have to respawn, did I? Okay. I've never tried this before. So this is going to be a first. But... OK, 
Okay. I was on something, but the other thing is, just have a quick look at this. Uh... Oh, but okay, okay, I see, I see something else I could have done there. I saw something else I could have done. Um, fudge. Instead of doing that down there, I think that move would work, but with three cubes, not with the two that we've got. But I don't know that I would need to do it when I have a third cube, which is the, um, the thing. So now what I can do here, same concept, just without the syndicator, on this button. here. Okay. So we have that. We have that. So. Cube there, cube there, cube there. I want to quickly take a look at what's going on down here because I have my suspicions here. I have my suspicions that Okay. That portal surface needs to stay there at all costs. Hmm. I don't know how easy that would be. something I always get confused about as well. Excellent. Don't know why that's there though. I suppose it's there so I could resendificate the cube later. Okay. So based on that, what I'm thinking now is So it's quite weird that the cube's stacked on top of each other, wasn't it? Wait, I digress. Right, there you go. Got nothing on the centrificator. Okay, so then I guess this is what this is for here.
Don't think about this though, we need to use that cube second. And it is the companion cube we want back. The reason I said we've got to use the um, the reflect cube second is because it we can't get that back straight away. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? That's a problem. the thank you back Sears, what's going on? Seven Silhouette, also, what's going on? Heading to bed, now you've been watching the stream for a while, but while you work on stuff, heading to bed, figured I should say hi, thanks for the stream. No worries, Seven Silhouette, thanks for hanging, buddy, appreciate it. Uh, sleep well, sleep well. Okay, I think. Let's save here. Okay, that's it. Maybe I could have, like, avoided doing this whole long convoluted thing if I'd have noticed that panel before, actually. I could have angled it in the right place for a start, and then I wouldn't have had to have sent that one anyway. But... All good. Right, the platform has moved. I'm going to save there. And now we'll go through here, drop the cubes through. And then we'll do this and this. I suppose that's what you get when you don't orient your cube properly. I, I know, it's, it's completely my fault. The cube is not straight, and I think that's what's caused that to happen. Humbly shall not be held responsible for those actions. Okay, so we do that, and we do that, then we drop down here, I should have probably saved the reposition of that cube, shouldn't I? What? What? 
What, what is going on? That one. Or in that cube correctly. Hit F6. Step two. Take a look at where this is going to be positioned. Slightly to the left, off center. Step three, hit save again because, you know, things happen. Step four, profit. Step four, profit. Okay. Next. Next, 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 next. We need to respawn the uh, laser cube. Use our little speed up trick this time. Hopefully that will work. And I think that's the companion cube down there, so we can respawn this one. Like so. What? Bro, me. <laughs> we just want that one while we're waiting. Okay, L let me just. I, I this is just me talking, of course, but it might be easier if there was like a reference point here, or is there a reference point here? Is that what this is? A reference point. Uh. No, I guess not. It's fine, don't worry. don't worry. I don't get on with Sendificators a lot of the time, so it's fine. I will let you off. You're there, right? That should be good. What? Oh, alright, panic over, don't panic. Don't panic, don't panic! <laughs> alright, save. Don't want to do that again. And then. Both of these. Don't think it really matters. Ah. Uh. Does it matter? Yeah, laser has to go here. Play the cube. A little bit worried out here. Not gonna lie. The reason I am worried is because. Is this going to come down to here? Um, much easier way to do what I'm doing. Doesn't surprise me. I've angled the laser from the source and centrificated the companion cube onto the button. Oh, what, from down there? Yeah, okay. OK, 
Okay, I'm a bit spooked now though because um, we need to centrifugate this down to here. Oh no, I'm just I am being completely stupid. I believe so. I can do that, and then I can take this. I can centrifugate this first. Then go back down here and move the laser. It's American for laser. And point it over to there, like so. <clears throat> cool map. Very cool indeed. As long as you, uh, like I did, I think the, the, probably the thing with this map, as long as you can get the the gimmick like quite quickly like I, I think I did personally um, then I think you're pretty much set and sorted so um, yeah no cool stuff Fumbly cool stuff indeed all right next up we have got prologue from Ozzy and Soul Moose Or GLaDOS starts talking to us. I like that font. I like that font indeed. In an alternate timeline, enter the very top of Test Shaft 9 and reach the final old aperture test chambers. Only two tests remain before you re-emerge into the weakly controlled aperture above. Prologue is an old aperture map set in a new interpretation of the 1980s theme, a transitional style from the 1980s into Portal 1 era of aperture. With the portals containing different potential with the puzzles containing different sol potential solutions you can take, enjoy the fun romp through an unexplored bit of Aperture's history. Taking about two months to fully create, this was a fun ride to create. Major thanks to Solmoose for providing help with the complex logic work. These puzzles focus entirely on the usage of conversion gel. Excellent. Okay. Man, I really I could wish I could lose this um, frog in my throat. Alrighty then. So we're going to need some conversion gel on there by the looks of it. Stop eating the flies and it will perish from hunger. Bear in mind, Sonny. Keep that in mind. Let's put it up there. There is a cube dropper. The conversion gel somewhere on the back and beyond. go through here. And the conversion gel, what can we see? Um, the answer is not a lot. Thing. I'm not going to be able to uh, squeeze through there, am I? Oh. Look for the obvious knock. Look for the obvious. Okay. And everybody's favourite. Moving with speed gel. Doing that again. Or 
hallway. Okay, we have a cube. Okay, so now we get conversion gel instead of, hopefully, no. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do that instead. Do we need the cube? It's interesting. to think. So that's like the crossover there, look. It's like the old Aperture Fizzler. It looks, I don't know, it looks weird kind of like in the port with the Portal 2 frames, but very interesting indeed. Well, I didn't even like think to look up there at the detail. All right, so far so cool. So far so cool. Eclipse there, so we can't get over. Now we can potentially go back here, can't we? Not sure that we would need to. If it helps us in any way, shape, or form, I just wonder if we could get some more conversion. I've obviously taken the cube off there. We've removed our um, path back to there, so. Shot. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even need that anymore, I don't think. I think all I need to do is... Oh, okay. No, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Do this. The gel is like running really funny. Just me. And then we would do. A bad job of trying to go through the funnel. scenery while we go. I really do like the old... I never really... Well, I, I say I like it. I never really thought about it before, but I really do like the old Aperture style like this, where everything's sort of open plan in one big kind of testing sphere. I don't like the enclosed versions you get, like the, the B-Mod version of it. But like this, I really do like the like the whole open planness. Very very cool indeed. Yeah. No. 
there's Atlas and Peabody. Interesting. Very, very cool map. Very cool map indeed. <clears throat> very well done. And a very nice looking map as well. A little favourite. Oh my goodness. The time has finally come. This will be our life now for the next... For the next six portal streams. It's post hideout by Atom. I know Atom's been... Um, Badgering me about how much longer it's going to be till we get for this one. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Poets hideout. So the chamber I made is overwhelming. But what I should have done is to give each chamber a blessing. Is this meant to be a poem or? I think it is. Okay. Though the chambers I made are overwhelming, but they, that, but what I've, what I should have done is to give each chamber a blessing. My mind goes blank when I hear these words. Now I can't clear the path with these tangled. Curds? I know it's cords, but cords and words don't really work. Um, every chamber I make, I created a sin. So many sins that it, I made... So, so many sins that I made, it completely fills the trash bin. So many criticisms, so little forgiveness that I don't realize it's affecting my business. I best, uh, look, have you heard my voice today? Have you heard my voice? I'm struggling to speak normal English. Let alone. I don't, I don't know. Would that, be, would that be classed as classical English? Oh my goodness. I've really got to go all the way through this. I have few people, I have a few people that I should go back to the original PT version that I had. But what you're really doing is making me even more sad. I can't give up now that I've come this far. Deleting it will, deleting it will make it worse, like throwing your life's work into a pool of tar. From where I am now, I'm in a state of loneliness. But what hurts me more in this state, there's little forgiveness. Whatever the direction I go, I only see dark, that I can't move around like without a light in the park. The elevator brought you to the chamber, but don't lose your cool, because a lot of people cried there's tears over the toxic pool. Their tears, sorry. There are so many deaths in Aperture Science that you will succeed, just don't pay your defiance. This chamber is my hideout, so don't lose your fall, because the laser is humming directly to your call. The laser is trying to talk to you, but you don't know what it's saying. But I remember what I, but I remember what it said. It says, remember me, Atom, it's breaking. This chamber has a mind that is connected from a million lives that have been lost. Though my breaking point is near, almost at my cost. I lie down in the floor of the chamber just to remember my past. If I, uh, if only I see my greatest moment, I would have a blast. Now it's time for you to turn. It's time. For <laughs> now it's time for your turn to be a success. Just don't let your, don't lose your hope. Try not to make a mess. I know you'll find your path of joy, but I say it to you: good luck and enjoy. I'm dead. <laughs> Music by Mike. Difficulty of 4 to 7.9 out of 10. The rescue button turns off the laser and won't respawn the cubes. It is not part of the solution. Logic gates used is and snatching a cube near a field is not intended. No ninja moves. Glitches, etc. etc. Alright. How about... Before we jump right into this, let me go and grab another cup of coffee because I think we might need it for this one. So um, give me a sec, guys, and I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Let's go. My voice can stand it anymore. Sleepy time tune. Oh, 
This is not a massively big map by the looks of it, which is semi reassuring. involve a laser move like that though, isn't it? And that's a given. Okay, maybe we should have got the laser back, but there is no way to return now. At the moment. That's a full reset, I guess. through here, use the laser on here, activate these panels here. I don't see anything else to do without doing that at the moment, so... Okay. Need a laser here to activate... We've got this other cube, which we can do via... Bring it through here. Pointing it over to there. Okay. Uh, very, very rarely. <coughs> Rontalo. Very rarely indeed. They co op. Square. Let's go back over here. It's hidden from view. There's our AND gate. We should be able to activate as well from the other side over here. Respawn that cube. Doesn't respawn both, does it? No, because the end gate's still connected there. So we can do that, which allows us to go back. Then we can drag the cube over to that side. Guessing we're going to want to do something with this. That might be a good place to save. Mm -hmm. Okay, made a mistake. That cube should be facing this way. and readjust. <clears throat> Run that over to there like that. Back over here. Respawn cube. Point it over here. OK. 
Okay. Exactly the same setup, just that cube is pointing in the alternative direction. Um, hmm. Okay, but we still need to activate... So let's activate that. So maybe I'm not done with this queue over here after all. is here. Now I don't have a way to get back through there, do I? I need a portal on. Sorry. Yo, t channel, what's going on? Hey, damn buddy, welcome, welcome. So I need this set up. I need to keep, um, I think I need to keep a portal uh, on this side of the fizzler, don't I? There's no other way back. So I need a port on there. Then... Maybe I've... Maybe I need the cube on this side at the minute. Maybe I've jumped the gun by... Maybe I've jumped the gun thinking I was done with the cube on this side.
So that's going to do that. I would ideally need to point this cube. Doesn't matter about that one at the minute. I can point that one over to here. It's not intended though, as you can tell by the angle. Could be intended if it was here though. Could totally be intended. But I would need to... Okay. Could be intended as long as what? I feel like getting a portal there though is key. That's the big move. Put all there facing there. End move, I think, will be. I'm already thinking ahead, yes, to end moves. End move will be something like this cube pointing over to there. Then have a second cube which pointing over to here. Of course, this won't, um, this won't work because of the. Um, activation thing. I also see this to here. So, so let's just re let's fizz that cube in it. Get this one back. So that will point to there initially. Then I'll go like over here. feel like we'd need to come over here, over there, through there. Can't shoot that to there though. So maybe the move is there instead. Okay. It's a slurp. Oh, that was... Uh, that's right, it wouldn't be there. It would have to be pointing to there. By doing that, a portal there and a portal on this side like this, we'd be able to walk... Yeah, this would point here. I don't know why it's pointing that direction. That would be to there. Then from here, we could walk back and change that to there and exit. All right, so if we try and work backwards from there, we do that to walk across to there. What have we just done from here? From here, we would have had to have done this. where we would have moved the cube round from.
Yeah, that's that, that's like the in reverse. That's the ending maneuver. How do we get to that point? That, my friends, is the sixty-four million dollar pound question. You for the host, T. Chapman. Appreciate it. It's OB, uh, I guess uh, Streamlabs is having a bit of a derp. Not playing notifications. Only for my um, notifications and things, yeah, Sonny. What do what, what all the what are all the cool and hip kids use these days? Their, the only things I use is um, <clears throat> I, mean, I use their chatbot, which used to be called Orcbot before Orcbot. Uh, I don't know what happened to them. They sort of disappeared, and Streamlabs bought it off them or took it off them to continue development. Um, I wonder if I'm meant to do that over to there, actually. Yeah, so I use um, I use that, and then I I do just have like alerts and things set up on there, but um, I I use I don't use the Streamlabs OBS because I feel that Streamlabs OBS is full of bloatware. Right, what did I just do there? What did I just do there? Get this set up here. That was pointing to there. And I had a cube there. Okay, so I'll come across here. So here, to me, this next move is an adjustment. <clears throat> this can only really operate in one of two spaces here. So I adjust that to there. Okay, maybe I go back here. Maybe I've been a bit hasty there, actually. Maybe I've been a bit hasty. Let's not move it just yet. Let's keep it pointing in that direction just for now. Uh, 
Um, yeah, the, the reason I want to keep it... <laughs> right, let's... Let's point it there. Let's point it there. Everybody remember this state, please. Let's point there. I can go back. That's an interesting observation. I can do that. <clears throat> that doesn't help anyone, though. Is there an opportunity here to move this cube? I also think that could be a good move there. Do that, we would first go across to here. We would now reposition this cube. This gives us the opportunity to move this one, though. Maybe I've been a bit narrow-minded in as much that I've been focusing on leaving a cube on that button. But maybe, in reality, it's our downfall. Okay, so, next up... Can I get a portal there and get back over to here? The cube respawn, possibly. Didn't you hear, Libby? Um, I've actually announced my retirement after this map. This is going to be the. This will be the last ever Portal 2 map. Knock ever plays. 
I'm, uh, I'm going into retirement, buddy. <laughs> the bombshell has been dropped. Breaking news! No, don't lie. We all know there is no such thing as an easy Libby Bapper map, so... Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> um... Probably could have angled that a little bit better. <laughs> Running away with the sub money. I um I touched on that at the beginning of the stream. I'm sure I'll uh discuss it again before we're done but I just want to say again a massive massive thank you to everybody who's been supporting the stream so, uh, recently <clears throat> Man, my voice is terrible um, yeah the amount of support we've had on stream has been absolutely amazing <clears throat> I can't thank you enough it's also uh, for anybody that wasn't here as well um, at the start of the stream uh, enabled me to came this morning. I don't have time to set it up, but got uh, got myself a, a stream deck. So uh, yeah, the the like I say, I want to kind of like put the money back into the the stream and the videos and the show, or well, the show, the stream, and um, you know, enhance the experience for you guys. So um, I've been running like a custom a custom setup thing on my uh, Windows tablet for a while but it, um, it hasn't worked since I've upgraded my PC slash I haven't got around to sorting it out properly so um, don't believe the lies T Chapman don't believe the lies it's all lies <laughs> alright I'm uh, I don't want to go in now I don't want to go in with this What if we were to... Take this... I'd have to take that over there first though, wouldn't I? I'd have to place this here. And then we would do... Then I guess we could do it's not guessing, isn't there? Guess we could do. We need to be more decisive. Then I will do. Then I am going to do. I don't know if it's a good thing to do, but I'm going to create a sage spot here. Pop 
the cubes could be could be no no again damn it swapping the cubes is an important part of this puzzle i'm calling it i'm being decisive <laughs> There's no maybe about it. Fumbly's back. This time with uh, orange on my chat, but I don't, I don't think it uh, resonates on everybody else's. It's, uh, when you have a random colour, uh, or you don't define a colour on Twitch, you get given and assigned a random one. Somebody's been, uh, somebody's been purple up until now, and all of a sudden, they are orange. So, this helps how? Can I see? Can I see something? I'm going to have to, unfortunately though, I'm going to click back over to here a moment. Uh, yes, okay. Let's imagine I did that. Let's imagine we knock. Um, but wait a second. Um, no, it's not just people from chat, Leo, when you, when you gift sub. Um, I think it's based on viewership first. Um, or people that are long-time kind of supporters of the channel. But I've, I've been given gift subs on Twitch before when I've not even been on the stream. And I've got notifications like, oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does, it does not prioritise... Um, chat members, people in chat. So, you know, if you did, if you were looking to do gift subs or anything, I would always recommend like picking people. If you want, if you want to make sure it goes to specific people, you know, somebody who's been to the channel once could like randomly end up with the gift sub and it'd be like, eh, bit rubbish. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure, Sonny, if I'm completely honest. almost interesting for a minute. Why was it interesting? Leo with the gift sub to Ties Tizy TV. Point proven. <laughs> Leo, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, the gift sub, I appreciate that. I 
I do think personally though it should um, it should prioritise people in chat or the people that are regular watch not just pick from a, like a random list Yeah, I mean, you know, Sonny, you're OG. Sonny is OG, and uh, Sonny doesn't even... Twitch doesn't even pick Sonny. Says a lot. Oh, I thought I was on to something then. What exactly I was on to, I now don't know. Oh, sorry. I, you're probably before 2016, Sonny. week before you. I'll be honest, I've, the, the, the name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Not one bit. Okay. Um, you know what? I was having a great stream up until this point. I wouldn't need to do that, would I? Alright, so I'm gonna save spot there though. Let's see what happens. Nice instant. Turns the laser off instantly. Why would I want that? What is the, I was expecting like the cubes to fizzle. help us in any way, shape, or form, did it? Here. Really? Okay, yeah. Fair, fair point.
See, this state isn't helpful. States not really helpful because we could just cut out that other cube altogether. Semi helpful. I think what would be more helpful here, though, is if this was pointing here. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that cube across there. If this cube was still here, I could use it to activate that. I need to let's pull back a minute can somebody just in chat just confirm to me that I've had this state I don't obviously want to cheat I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I have had this state though I'm pretty confident that I have had it because to get this, to get that over to there, I would have had to have had a portal here and a portal there, and I could have just respawned that cube. So, if anybody doesn't agree, please do let me know. But I think, um, I may have already had this state before, I don't know, to be honest. But I must, I must have had the, this cube on this side at some point because there's no way to go... Di I don't think there's a way at the minute that I found to go directly from that side over to there. So I'm, I'm happy that I haven't broken anything yet. Yet being the keyword. Okay, so I can do that. Also do that. 
This is how I got the cube over here for a start. What if I could, from here... Possibly, 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 possibly. That's an interesting move. But what does it do for me? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Unless. to update that social scroller. Uh, I was on the other side here, wasn't I? So yeah, I positioned that, done that, then I did that. Does it help if I get both the cubes over to the exit side? Sorry for the um, extended period of absence. Uh, the hamster, the G hamps, the G hast master, <laughs> the gas master, got it finally. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, right, okay. So, um, what are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know what I was doing. Okay, both cubes over to here. Does that help us in any way, shape, or form? Let's find out. I would probably say no. We could, however... We could, however... But if this would help... 
could, however, force a respawn of the yellow cube. I don't know if that helps. Um, also, two channels, the, uh, What's the sub face about, buddy? Was there something in my pause screen that offended? If so, I apologize. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my uh, my wife's uh, ringing to tell me lots of stuff she could have actually told me when she got home. So, <laughs> yeah. Not sure how this is beneficial in the slightest. And honestly, I think it's a backtrack. It is a backtrack because now we don't have access to that over there. Zoink. move. Whatever this move is, it's a killing me. Figuratively speaking, of course. Unless this is the move. Wait a minute, what if these cubes are the other way around? Uh, no, it wouldn't work. I was thinking, the other cubes are the other way around, I could put that on there, go through to there, position this one where it needs to be, respawn it, but it wouldn't then... Yeah, it wouldn't be in the right place. I'm gonna just do whatever I just did there and then do it again. Ok, 
we pull this side? Walk across to here. That would be all well and good if I had the cube on the other side. But it's getting close. Because if that would if the cube was on the other side. Alright, so let's see if we can we can do something about this. Can we do something like this but with the cube on the other side? That is the question. Also, I didn't even realise the uh, gas master had uh, requested stretch, so I apologise. It's probably what something was talking about. It makes more sense now. Um, I had that there. over here we would have needed a portal on both sides. Then that cube would have been on there pointing there. That one would have been pointing to there with the laser opening this up with the water cross here. Okay, I validated what I thought. So um, I don't believe I've broken anything. Now, what if we were to... Why is my watch telling me a stand-up time? I've been stood up for, like, five hours. Maybe it's telling me, actually, the, the inverse of that. Maybe I need to sit down rather than stand up. Okay, so we have this. I'm just going to save it there. So we do this, we do this. The goal here would be to This would be all well and good. That would be all well and good. 
if I now had a portal on the other side. Okay, so have I been a bit hasty here? I can't take it over there. same move I had like an hour ago. Which is not a helpful one. this again it's like if the cubes were swapped I know I've like respawned the cubes and everything but if the cubes were swapped <sighs> if the cubes were swapped then So if we had cubes in the other positions, that's pointing to there. This would be a respawn here. No, we've already had Shakespeare in Knock. We're not having anything else. Don't get no ideas.
So this is where it falls apart though, because then I lose... my mental capacity for the day been reached. Old coffee will give me the answer. This configuration, there's no way to... to get this out to here. But again, if I had that out to there, what would that do for me? Well, it would be sat here. I could point it in this direction here. Go back over to this side. Do that. But I need to be on the other side of this fizz line. Yeah, I don't know. That seems important. Okay. 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 <laughs> Just out of absolute nowhere.
Almost. Almost. So, this to work. I'll go back a minute. What did I just do? What did I just do? Because it felt like I was really close to solving that. Um, answer is... I don't know. Right, the answer was, I think... That was pointing to there, I think. Yeah, it's keeping the bottle there. That's the key. Oh yeah, we didn't... Um we don't line that key very well. Right, so we line that cube. We walk across here with the portal intact. We then came across here. Where is the cube over there? We sold it. Yeah. My voice went really high there. The counter would be a loneliness just to make sure. Okay. I think this is the bit that I was missing. I need to realign that cube there. Lots of little intricate maneuvers. Folks, I think we have done it. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, this is like a. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. We did it. Yeah, some really nice little intricate moves there. 
intricate indeed right at the end little tiny increments of movement now can I just run through the whole entire map okay so the key is I want the green cube here and the purple cube there the reason I want to run, run through it is I want to make sure I didn't break anything or didn't cheat in any way, shape, or form. There was a lot of sort of maneuvering about there. So. The next area of the screen. How on earth did I do this? it. Of course. I don't know why I have such a hard time with freaking catches, man. Like, seriously. No idea. Baffles me. Tell this our series solve. Yo, Miss Fab, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. This our series solve right now. It's like no, no talking.
No! <laughs> I did it wrong. Oh, fudge. Hold on. That was pointed there. So then, I don't know what was there. And this one was there. Okay, I'll go over here. We've adjusted that. And... Yeah, that's right. Solution confirmed and validated. There we go, guys. We did it. The irony is, Atom has been moaning at me for such a long time about playing that map. And um, when we're here playing it live, obviously he's not here. I'm sure he'll enjoy that, uh, watching that back on the um, VOD, of course. Um, well, I think... Shall we... Sh shall we... Should we peek at the next map? Is it what we think it is? It sure is. Well, unfortunately, I've only got like 10, 10 15 minutes left. Um, my kids are going to be back soon, so um, they're going to be shouting. Yeah, but that was that was like a four. four. <laughs> I've literally got like 10 minutes, so it's probably not... Um, it's probably not what not wise to jump into that, but um, yeah, we have got through. How many have we done today? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So we've been playing for four and a half hours of the stream. Pretty much had an hour off, um, talking and whatnot. But yeah, four and a half hours, and we managed eleven maps. That's uh, really good progress. And we're getting up to some stuff now where um, some of the stuff isn't even on the queue. So we need to just check. I need to do a bit of tidying up and uh, bits and pieces. But yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. That is going to be the stream today. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. It's been a blast. Five and a half hours, possibly the longest ever Nox stream. So you have all been here to witness a small piece of history. Um, a small piece of history, indeed. Um, thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, support so won't be on Saturday night um, because I've done this longer stream today to make up for not streaming uh, on Friday, just gone. And this Saturday, I'll be back with Outer Wilds on Saturday. So uh, Portal will return a week on Friday on the stream. So um, thanks, everybody. It's been awesome. <laughs>